What's up, y'all? My name is Kearney. Here we are back with another episode of Tales of Beta Spoiler with our team, as you can see, up there as well as over there Mega Salamance, Magnus Zone, Choice Scarf Raptor, Life Orb Galvantula, um, Air Balloon Cabalion, and Leftovers Cradley. So, um, as usual, if you see me at any point doing something insanely stupid or something that you should make sh make different that you thought I should do different, leave it in the comments below with the Octothorpe tip jar, because tip tips can always help us become better battlers. Anyways, while I was saying that, we are founder of the opponent, Jay from Georgia, I believe it said, Persian, Gengar, Chestnut, Dragonite, uh, Bisharp, and Machamp. So, sorry, gotta be, gotta be a white girl in this episode again. Um, looks like the Cabalion could do okay, especially seeing that, um, seeing that Bisharp there. Uh, the only thing I really fear for for this Cabalion is the uh, Machamp. Uh, everything else it kind of handles. Um, I guess also uh, the Dragonite. Cabalion can't really take. So I guess I should bring stuff for that. Um, I really don't want to just bring Salamence and wreck everything. I honestly don't. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to start Starbraptor. after. I'm going to bring Cabalion. Um, and then maybe Magnazone or Galvantula. I see two fighting types and a possible Earthquake user in Dragonite. Actually, did Dragonite get Earthquake? Mm, mm, still the two fighting types. I think Galvantula would be a better bet. Galvantula would be a better bet. So that's what I'm bringing. By the way, if these, uh, if, 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 if whenever uh, I have Starbucks and I'm like, ah, I'm such a white girl right now and that offends you, I apologize greatly. But, um, you know, um,. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is really taking forever. It's a black screen on my DS2. What is going on? There it is. I don't... Why? Is my DS just so mad at me for being a white girl today that it's just like, dude, I cannot handle. You, you need to get the fuck out. So, uh... The Gengar coming out here is actually pretty obvious. Um, so I'm just, I can go for the Braver, I think it's still gonna do a good amount of damage to this person. He's gonna fake out! Mm, 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 mm. Yo! Screw this, I'm going for the close combat. I'm going for the close combat. Oh my god, that fake out did so much. It was a fake out, man! And there's the Gengar. I said, mm. I thought he would want to stay in just because, like, he's like, oh, well, it did that much damage, I'm probably gonna kill. But nine. The so Galvantula will outspeed. Um, and I, well, he's probably just gonna go for Sledge Bomb. Actually, no, Thunderbolt's an option, so I'm gonna go into Galvantula. This Gengar does get Thunderbolt. Um, it probably won't be a Mega. When I say probably, I mean I pray to God that it won't be a Mega. It's a mega. So that's all sorts of fun. So now I'm pretty sure he's assumed that I'm scarfed. Um, he does go for the sludge bomb. So that one shot. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> I... I guess Cobalion wouldn't have outsped. Cobalion wouldn't have outsped and would have been taken out by a Shadow Ball anyways. Um, so... He probably sacked off his Gengar so he could switch into his, um... His a stupid freaking Persian. Whose fake out will obviously kill Tolka in one hit.
So I'm going to have to switch into Kobalion. And if he has a Machamp as his last Pokemon, or the Chestnut even, then uh, I am screwed. Uh, if that Persian has Earthquake, then I'm screwed. Or a Fighting Attack. Um, but something to- I really don't know what Persian likes to do. I, in complete, utter honesty, do not know what this person wants to do. If he goes to the Earthquake right now, that would be fantastic. Um, because the fake out's so obvious, I have to switch out. Um, so the question is, will he want to go for a different move? Nice and shiny Kabali, nice and shiny Leaf here, floating in the air. He's gonna fake out, break my air balloon. If only Kobalion had Steadfast instead of, um, what's it called? So, um, I don't think he's gonna want to stay in. Even if he stays in, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be physical. So I'm gonna Swords Dance. And, uh, hope for the best. And hope for the best. He's just gonna U-turn, that's what I thought. That's not gonna do too much, uh, because it is resisted. Um, does Fighting Resist? I know Steel Resist Bug. Does Fighting Resist Bug? Bug Resist Fighting, but I don't know about the other way around. I don't think so. I don't- I think if you use a U-turn on a Machamp, it's gonna be neutral. Dragonite is his last Pokemon. That's fun. Dragonite, like I said, has access to Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. So... This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna break the scale with an Iron Head. Um, if he D-dances, then I feel like I'm gonna lose. That was a crit. He's D-dancing. So that tells me, if he has Outrage, he might kill me. If he just has D-claw, he might not kill me. That's where this this problem uh, comes from. Alright, come on. This I don't understand why this battle is taking so long to communicate. Uh, is my connection going bad? Is Horror Punch. Well, bye, Cabal, and it was nice knowing you. Thanks for staying in there! Thanks for staying in there! Oh my good golly gracious! Huh! Huh! Eat my shit. Eat my good golly shit. And this Persian doesn't go for the fake out. I'm killing you with the Sacred Sword. And if he go even if he goes to the fake out, I feel like I can live it. I feel like I can live it. I'm at 15 HP. I don't live it. But that's fine because my Staraptor is Scarf. This thing is Life Orb. And uh, at that range, a close combat is one shotting. So, thank. Oh my god, that Cobalion Living was so clutch. Cobalion Living was so clutch. I'm gonna go for the close combat and that should one shot this thing. Uh, unless he has Quick Attack, in which case I would have cried uh, into this cup. And just, this cup would become a S'mores Tears uh, Frappuccino. But we're gonna defeat Jay! Thank freaking, oh my goodness, that was, that was insanity. Okay, black screen, you are on the screen for way too long. Thank you. That was a very narrow 1-0, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, if Kobali, if, man, that was probably a low roll, to be completely honest, because it was freaking, um... Freaking, freaking, uh, Dragonite at plus one. Dragonite at plus one. That's, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Not even a lot. Holy behebus. Switching in Galvancho. Maybe having Galvancho without the Focus Sash is wrong. Maybe I should have it with, because if I had the Focus Sash, then I could take on Talonflames without a problem. But, I mean, I was thinking because Magnezone's there, I can take on Talonflames. Magnezone should be able to take a, um, one, um, one Flare Blitz. Should. We're gonna be fighting Shuda from Okayama here. Uh, with a 1622 rating. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Tower of there it is. So we're bringing Magazone, like I said. A Bomb of Snow, Porygon 2, Azumarill, uh, Hydreigon, and a Lucario. Ooh, the Lucario. Hmm. So let's see, I can bring my, uh, Salamence, who does not have Intimidate, sadly. He has Moxie. Or else, uh, I would feel a lot better about switching in on that Talon play with the Salamence. Um, so I feel like you can either start with a Talon Flame. The Hydreigon or the Lucario. Um, actually, he could start up. He could start with Azumarill and just sweep. To be honest, um, I'm gonna bring. Gal I'm gonna start with Galvantron. I'm gonna bring Magnezone. I'm gonna bring Salamence. 
Um. Yeah, Magnezone is going to have to be my answer for Azumarill as well. Huh, nice and Chantaloon. Let's chant. Battle, battle, Chanteline theme. Love it, love it so much. The violins are going nuts. Okay, this is my connection, isn't it? That black screen was, it wasn't as long as the last one, but it was still pretty long. He's going to start with the Hydreigon. I'm going to start with Galvantula. And I am totally 100% fine with that because I do have the Bug Buzz. Now the question is, will he just straight up attack? Is he Choice Scarf? Mm. Or will he switch out into the... <sighs> He's not going to want to switch into the Talon Flame. He's not going to. But he's going to be like this thing's Focus Sash. I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz. He's going to Draco Meteor and land it by Galvantula. I was really praying on uh, faking that Focus Sash. But now we do know this thing is Scarf. Um, that was valuable information. A shame that I didn't bring my Scarfer. Um, Salamence, I don't think, can take a plus, a minus to... Um, a minus to Draco Media, so I'm just gonna go straight into Magnezone. Um, and then I should have Substitute on this thing. Uh, I don't. I can Thunder Wave though. But if Talonflame comes in, it's not gonna matter. So let's see, there's Talonflame Azumarill that will not appreciate a Charge Beam. Azumarill won't appreciate the Thunder Wave, not gonna lie. Um, and then there was also... Lucario won't appreciate the Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave. Of course this thing's gonna out, uh, switch out. Um, and whatnot. He's gonna switch into Porygon too. Um, and now I can't switch out because he has the... Um, Magnet pull. I do have Volt Switch though to counteract that, which is interesting. Um, but very interested in what he wants to do here. Um, I'm just gonna go over Charge Beam uh, and boost up my special uh, special attack. Hopefully, that's gonna do nothing. I'm gonna get that special attack boost, and he's gonna go for Shadow Ball. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not gonna do too much. Because wait, he got the download, didn't he? Or no, he has trace. That's why. I, that's why I was saying I can't switch out. So I'm gonna keep going for the. He's gonna switch into the Hydreigon now. Um, I'm gonna get a plus one charge beam off on this thing. And this thing can go with the fire blast on me. It's true. You know what? I'm going to go on the Salamence here. If he predicts that he goes to the Draco, that's going to be next level. He has to go for the Flamethrower. He has to. Or the Earth Power. Salamence, I am counting on you so hard. You don't even know. Salamence, I'm literally counting on you as hard as I can. Fire Blast, there it is. Live it, you resist it. You resist it, live it. You live it. Fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to Dragon Nets without Mega Evolving. Um, if I can get a Moxie off on something, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, he's going to switch back into the Porygon 2, of course, because the Porygon 2 does have the Ice Beam. I'm going to trace my Moxie because obviously I didn't have Intimidate. Whew! Okay, okay, okay. So now with a plus one Frustration... I have to make it evolve here. Will plus one frustration kill this thing? It still has its Eviolite. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it and pray, and then if it doesn't kill an Ice Beam's killing me, I don't care who, what anyone's saying. Ice Beam's killing me. And I'm screwed because the Hydreigon can come in and Fire Blast. I'm gonna frustration. 
That doesn't kill. I'm at zero happiness. Don't even try and tell me that I am not at max happiness. I am at zero happiness. He's going to get that plus one attack. I don't know what I could have done. I mean, uh, I could have not started with Galvantula. <laughs> That's something I could have done. I'm going to see a way for Dignal Hydreigon. <laughs> Last ditch effort, why not? Why the fuck not? I gotta get para hacks like five times. That's how many I would need. <laughs> oh my god, if I had substitute? Oh man. But I do I have Volt Switch instead of substitute. Uh maybe that's a misplay, I don't know, but we're gonna get a flash cannon off. Maybe we can crit flit uh paralyze? <laughs> we got this. We got this game in the bag. Don't even don't even try. Don't even try and tell me we don't got this in the bag. Don't even try and tell me you don't got this. Thanks for the crit now. No, but oh my goodness. That Parahax was too clutch. Holy shit. That was a last ditch effort and I actually got it. I am, that's Lucario. So close combat is one shotting me. I understand that. I understand that at this point. Especially since it's a Mega Lucario adaptability. Bye. But getting that Parahax was still amazing. Not gonna lie. No, oh, yeah, uh, because we didn't. I mean, if it was the Town Flame, I'd been done. If it was the, um, if it was Lucario, like it's like we see here, I'd be done. Um, if it was, uh, what else does he have on his team? Um, I don't remember what he has. Uh, what I don't remember what else he had, but um, yeah, that that third Pokemon basically took me out. But Taya, I Dragon Clutch, Pro Plays, Pro Plays, predicting <clears throat> predicting that switch going for that Thunder Wave, too clutch. <laughs> uh, we're gonna continue battling, going for, for one more battle, hopefully doing okay. Because, um... Because, uh, I just realized we have a triple fighting weakness. And a, uh, rather gargantuan, uh, fire weakness. <laughs> okay. So having Cobalion and Magnezone on the same team, maybe not the best idea. Maybe not the best idea. May from California! I'm from California! Nice to meet you, May. You are bringing the guy Greninja, the Excadrill, the Raylum, the Conkelder, the Salamance, and I hate you. So, um, seeing as we both have Salamances, um, it's kind of clear that we're both going to bring it. So I'm gonna bring Cradle. I'm gonna start with Cradle actually. Um, I'm gonna bring Salamence and I'm gonna bring Staraptor. Um, not bringing Focus Ash Galvantula. Not a good idea. <laughs> I thought because Galvantula outspeeds so many things like naturally, I thought it would work, but no. Um, actually, I could bring the Galvantula on the Togekiss instead of bringing Cradle. Instead of bringing Cradle, I think I'm gonna bring Galvan. I'm gonna start with Star Raptor because your choice. Scarf. Bring Salaman and Galvantula. And then if that Togekiss comes in, I'll just switch straight into Galvantula, suck up the Thunder Wave, hit with hit it with a Thunder, and the only thing I can switch into is like Breloom or Salamance. But uh That's gonna be my answer to this talent. That this Excuse is gonna start off. Now how much am I not okay with this? If this thing is Focus Ash, um, then my day is ruined because the Rock Slide is going to one-shot me. But if it's not, I can go for the Close Combat. I'm going to the go, go for the Close Combat. No, he's not going to switch out. Mm, is it going to be Is it gonna be Focus Ash? It's not Focus Ash. Extra Drill is going to go down in one shot. Thank goodness. Thank good, 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 good. The goodness of this is very good. Very good. Also good. Mm, also good. So you're gonna switch out a Togekiss? Switch out a Togekiss. I dare you. I dare you to switch out into your Togekiss. Switch out into your Togekiss and see what happens. Green Ninja's actually gonna come out and um, this thing is probably uh, 
this thing is probably uh, focus sash. Which I am fine with bringing this thing down to 1 HP because that will be a very grand threat out of the way. No focus sash either! You just don't know what a choice scarf is! Oh my goodness. This person just does not know what a choice scarf is. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so in case your last Pokemon, please be your last Pokemon so that I can just token kiss. Go for the Thunder Wave. I quadruple dare you! Go for it! Para flinch me! Try it, brother! Try it! Go! Just do it! Rip it off like a band-aid, my Galvantula! What is that? An electric type! Thunder Wave! Knock it off that Galvantula! You are such a piece of poo! And I'm just gonna thunder you. Goodbye! Have farewell! I, it was nice It was nice meeting you! I hope you had a fantastic day! But you're just gonna get one shot of us! Oh! Toga kiss! More like eat my ass, it's Oh my god, I'm so happy. Thunder just miss. Just miss. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Ha! Asshole! What's the what's the accuracy on an air slash? Like five ninety-five percent? Well fuck you, that's what you get for using a toga kiss. That was a fantastic final battle. Full of uh full of full of deaths of toga kiss. I love it. I love it. Granted, I understand that my opponent didn't, like, when, uh, Staraptor outsped Ex uh, Excadrill, I would've switched on to Togekiss, because it was obvious that, uh, my, the Staraptor was Scarf, BUT we got to decimate that Togekiss, and oh, it felt good. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below telling me what you enjoyed, and until next time, Penguin Nation, out! Uh -huh.